Yes, the third time's the charm. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this evening's close-up. Getting close-up. Got to show you where everybody is before they start moving around. little tinker. You guys know putter, dabble, and trifle. They're all hanging out in the beanbag chair. When I came in, everybody was very calm, but I brought a surprise for all of them. I just finished making some shredded chicken to put in my dinner, which is going to be, I guess, shredded chicken tacos at some point. But there was a sale on at the store, and I bought way too much chicken. So I just shredded it all, and I'm going to have plenty for extra kitten treats this week. And as soon as they realize that I brought chicken in here, they are going to go nuts for it, I'm sure. So far, nobody notices because it's in this Tupperware. out. They've also probably been eating and stuff already, but let's just see what happens here. Take some of this out. So that's just plain chicken. This is, oh, whoa. Somebody's all wide awake all of a sudden. What do you think of that? Good? Oh, okay. Let's get right there. Now it's going to be everywhere in that blanket. Uh, I should have thought this through a little better. Look how clean that is. Take some of that, Daddy. What do you think? Is that good? <laughs> Trifle hasn't figured out what's going on yet. He's like, I don't know. They're interested in something. And look, you just left a whole bunch over here in the blanket. Let's get this. Right there. There you go. Yeah, well, you can't just go to the container and take it all. Come on, there's some rules around here. Yeah, I'll put that piece on the lid for you. There you go. All right, trifle. Come here, buddy. What do you think of that? Oh, oh my goodness. Now it's everywhere. Oh, this blanket. I have to shake all this out later. Fortunately, I uh, vacuum in here every day, so as long as I make sure it all ends up on the floor, I think I can manage that much. <laughs> oh, what a disaster. You guys are a mess. Oh, somebody found the whole container. Dabble's just like, I'll help myself, thanks. Okay, let's come over here where I can sit down and maybe manage the situation a little better. It's about time for this hanging basket to leave the room. You guys don't use that anymore, do you? All right. Come here. Tinker, that's what I brought you. Right there. Monkey? Hey, monkey needs some... What do you think, buddy? Taylor's looking all over for more. Putter? Putter, come have some of your own right here next to that. There you go, right there. Right there. Dabble. Come here, Dabble. Dabble. Come here. Use some right there. Oh, no, no. Look, yours is right here. Right there, you found it. Okay, good. Oh, 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 come here, Tinker. There you go, right there. Hey, 
Hey, buddy. Hi. Yeah, I was just going to push everybody else out of the way to get some, but it's falling all over anyhow. Now, don't just get in the container, Dabble. How many times do I have to tell you that's cheating? All right, cheater. I've only got so many hands. Only got so many hands, cheater. Speaking of cheaters, whoa, the mother load. She just took a giant mouthful. <laughs> It's all sharing. Tribal, you're just sitting here waiting. You're the good boy, aren't you, today? I'm just going to sit here and wait. Everybody else is not going to wait. Dabble. I can't get a good angle on him because he is he's sitting in my lap, see? He decided to curl up and just wait for it to come to him. Meanwhile, the ladies, Dabble and her mom, Tinker, just like, let's go for it. We're going to go for it. Look at that. Okay, leave some for everybody else. You guys, this is why I don't let you have the whole container usually. Sorry for my filming being all over the place, guys. I'm trying, you should see me juggling this. Maybe you can on the regular Kitten Academy live stream. Possibly those cameras. Show me trying to manage this situation and dropping food all over the kittens. Not that they might. I know they're going to clean all this up. Tinker. Tinker. Oh, my gosh. I definitely need DJ to be here before I do this kind of thing so that there's people that can manage this situation. down here buddy I know look at look at all this chicken that's right here look right here okay. a whole bunch right there oh what are you looking for tinker is it this wow what a mess this is this did not go quite as nicely as I thought that it might hope that it might I don't know. I guess I could have predicted this. So, uh, what news can I tell you? All I can tell you is that um, I was mentioning that we're going to try to put a secret agent suit on Tinker. And I tried today, but we've got the wrong sizes. We've only got ones that are too big or too small. So I ordered the one that's exactly the right size. I think it's actually going to show up the day after tomorrow. And after that, you will probably see her wearing a secret agent suit. Uh, we've also been keeping her on her gabapentin. I'm not sure um, whether or not it's making much of a difference yet, but it seems like people watching the stream say that they think it has. So that's great news. Um, and... Uh, I talked to the vet a little bit about it, and Dr. Katz said that uh, if it seems like it's making a difference and we don't want to just keep her on gabapentin, um, which we might want to, I'm not saying that we don't want to, um, but if we don't want to, then we could potentially try her on an anti-inflammatory and see how that goes. <laughs> Dabble. Putter. So that's everything about Tinker. Uh, the rest of the kittens, there's no real news here. They're all just doing well. They're putting on weight. Everybody's happy. And uh, uh, I can't think of anything else to say except, boy, have they all turned into some nice little lap kittens. Um, you guys remember how they were when the day that they showed up. And just what a wonderful change uh, that they've gotten in their lives now. That they're all happy with me. Of course, they're happy with anybody that brings them shredded chicken. Okay, I'm going to save the rest of this, okay? It's going to go up the bell with me. Now, let's, we're going to take this up to Bell. You guys have had quite enough. 
Here, why don't you clean it up off yourselves and the, the chair and the beanbag and your head. Yes, and everything else. There's plenty of cleanup to be done, kiddos. <sighs> For crying out loud. I don't know exactly how old they are. I saw Simba's dad ask. They're about 10 weeks. Um, I know on the 9th they will be four weeks. So, I, wait, not four. I mean, uh, on the 9th they'll... Wow, okay, let me start over. On the 9th they'll be 12 weeks or three months-ish. Um, so you can just work backwards from there. And I only know that because that's when we set up their vaccinations. Oh, I also remember um, the people that sent them to us from Georgia said that they were born on December 12th. 12-12, so you can do the math that way too. Hi, monkey. You think you might find some extra chicken on my thumb? Here you go, buddy. Look at that. I brought you a little piece. Oh, oh, it's right there. There you go, buddy. There you go. How about that, monkey? Little monkey man. Hi. All right, Megalina's done the math. They are 11 weeks old. That's our story, and we're sticking to it. All right, well, let's go see some other kittens, um, and hopefully these guys will clean up some of the chicken, but like I said, I, I clean this room every morning, so worst case, I'll be vacuuming up some dried chicken tomorrow morning. Not a big deal. We've seen much, much worse in this room. Trust me on that one. Uh, as usual, let me remind you, hi, Ari. Yeah, what do you want to remind people? Anything else? Is that it? Okay. Okay, buddy. Say no. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nobody in the, in the living room right now that I can see. Ari, what are you talking about? I don't. You know, I know you don't want the chicken, do you? Because you don't usually eat chicken. Let me give you a little piece, and you can see what you think. Right here. You think of that. He's going to sniff it, and then he's just going to leave it there with us. Because that's what he does with almost every treat that's not a temptation. Oh, I guess he likes this one. Okay, pal. Good. Well, Acro already got some. I know. You're probably going to ask for more. You'll get more when I make my dinner. He's lying here because the dishwasher's running. I'm sure you can hear that. Okay, Ooh, there's Logan Bean. Hi, Loganberry. Wow, everybody's talking tonight. What did you say? You do look just like the kittens on the pillow. <laughs> yes, okay, buddy. All right. So this is going to go upstairs with us, and I will explain. Um, we are going to be cutting down the front of the box in Belle's room soon. And I purchased this at the garden store. Uh, it's made to put in your garden, but I think it will make a good barrier. DJ likes to put a barrier around the room so that the kittens don't go everywhere. We can keep them just confined to like one half of the room or a quarter of the room at first. And I think that this will make a perfect barrier. It's uh, tall, five and a half or six inches tall, something like that. And uh, it's flexible, so I'll be able to move it out around the room wherever we want. I think it'll make a nice edge. Um, so that's uh, the first step in cutting down the box. but. I intended to do that today. I don't think I'm going to have time. I think I'm going to run out of time before we do it today. So probably that's on the schedule for tomorrow is unleashing these kittens on the universe. Uh, I think they're ready. They're just about ready anyway. So we'll probably use that barrier to make a big section of this corner here and let them run around. 
I may be able to do it. I may be able to get to it tonight after I finish eating my chicken. We'll see. I may just go hang out with kittens though. They all need a little bit of me time. So we'll see. Hi, Belle. Well, I did bring something for you. Let's see if you do it the way you always do it. Now, when I give Belle treats, uh, you, some of you guys have seen this before. Uh, I offer her the treat, and then instead of taking it from my hand, she'll headbutt me, and then I have to put it on the floor before she'll eat it. So that's how she asks for it, I guess, is just by hitting me with her head. But then she won't take it out of my hand because she's too polite for that. So let's see if she's going to play that game with me. Can you try this? You want some? It's right here. It's right there. Oh, okay. There's the headbutt smack. All right, here you can have some. Let's put it right there. She's purring. That's pretty good stuff, huh? Should have put it on the lid so she doesn't have to eat off the carpet. I still need to clean. It's all right though. I'm sure she gets plenty of all this stuff. So yeah, that's how she is. Uh, she's very, very polite. Here, let me give you a tiny plate. But I'm still gonna make you ask for it. Okay, here. You take it from my hand. Will you? No, she's like bang. There, she just hit me with her head. Oh, hit me again. Okay. Okay, here. I'll put it right here. It's right here. She's Checking out what that barrier is now. There you go, right there on your little plate. So polite. She's very cute that way. So that's what she does whenever I try to give her a treat. She headbutts me instead of taking it directly. All right, the rest of this is really for you too, Belle. Look at that. There we go. You want to finish this off? You do it right here. There you go. Yeah, but you can have it. It's all yours. It's all yours. You're a good girl. Okay, let's see your kids. Oh, okay, you're going to save it for later? I'll put it right there. <clears throat> all right, so here's Klaxon, little Klax. These kids are getting very big, and they're starting to walk around. It really is cutting down the box time. So we'll get to that soon. I have a list of things I have to do before. I can't just cut down the box and be done with it. I have to set up the barrier, and I have to put some stuff around out here. I have to make them a tiny litter box. And uh, most importantly, I'm going to have to pack them all up and take them out of the room for a few minutes while I vacuum and clean everything. Because we typically avoid that for a long time while they're kittens so that they have a chance to, to be uh, you know, vacuum noise free. I don't want to run the vacuum with them in here. Max, you're so cute just sitting there like that with your little ears down, your little paws together. That is adorable. Very, very cute, buddy. Such a cute little girl. Now, I know I've told everybody this a, a thousand times, but it's, it, uh, they're all three of these are girls. Um, I know that when they were first born, we thought they were boys, but we figured it out. Yes, Foghorn, even you. So uh, they are Foghorn in the back and Beep right here in front. And then this one uh, we just mentioned is Klaxon. Let's weigh them mostly as an excuse for me to grab them and show them to you up close. We'll start with Foggy. Foggy, how are you doing today for weight? Oh, I know. Such a loud scream. I know you have a lot to say. Hi. Hi, Foggy. Come on out here. What? What? I'm trying to hold you so that you don't panic. I know. I know. Don't panic. Don't panic. Okay, let's take your weight. You are getting too big for this bowl. 16.5, 16.5. 
Good. That's not a huge improvement over yesterday, but that's an oh oh so loud. That's a normal gain. Sixteen point five is not bad. I know. Okay, okay. Wow, crying out loud, foggy, so noisy. Uh, all right, beepy coming up next, huh? You're gonna walk right over for it. Good. I know. Come here. Come here. Show your pretty face to everybody. This is Beep. Look how cute she is. She reminds me of the cats that are drawn by an artist whose name, uh, gosh, I can't even remember the name correctly. It's Rosina, uh, it's, um, I think it's Austrian. Hang on a second, I'll tell you, but she weighs 14.5, 6 today? All right, nobody's got the big gains today. That's point two. Now, point two is usually the least we like to see a kitten gain in the day, but it's not a panic level, so point two is still good. We just usually like to see a little more. Of course, you guys are also way ahead of the uh, the curve. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Maya. Uh, Maya said it there. Rosina Walk. Uh, no, I'm not going to say it right. Walk Walkmeister. I don't know if that's correct how you say it, but uh, she draws these cats that have, uh, they've always got the same lines on the face. And I know this isn't exactly it. Kind of reminds me of it a little bit. I'll tell you who really does is, um, uh, I've just been thinking about her art because every time I look at Putter uh, with the, the face, the way that you know, Putter's face is just really gets me to think of that. All right, so here we are on... Um, uh, this, sorry, <laughs> uh, hi buddy, this is, um, I keep thinking of Rosina now, like I'm stuck on Rosina. Uh, this is Little Clax, and I always think of, um, what's the name of the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy? Because I can't help thinking of that every time. Is his name like Clax the Destroyer or something? I don't know. Anyway, today Clax is 15.8. Uh, Drax, yeah, okay, Drax. Yeah, I couldn't quite get it, but every time I'm saying Klaxon, I'm like, is that the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy? It's Drax. All right, close enough. Klax the Destroyer. Yes, you're going to grow up to be a destroyer, aren't you, Klax? Yes, I bet you are. Okay. All right, all three of you, there we go. We got your weights. Everybody got to see you up close, even though you just want to complain. Now, are we having a meeting? What are we all doing? Obviously, I also think of Zaxxon, uh, Zaxxon, uh, even though that's not how you say it, but that's all right. Anyway, um, let's see. When we were talking yesterday, uh, I mentioned that I'd heard some sneezes from all the kittens and I was concerned that maybe we had a URI that was starting to make the rounds. But uh, so far, if it is, it's, it's kept itself fairly contained um, and uh, not serious. So, I, in fact, I've hardly heard any sneezing today so far. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. We'll just keep an eye out. Um, but if it's just a few sneezes here and there, nothing to worry about. Not concerned about that at all. Hi. Hi, little Clax. You guys are almost going to, I'm like, if I don't cut this box down tomorrow, they're probably going to be out anyway, regardless. They're just getting really close to being able to just climb over this thing. I know. Walkmeister. Okay, I'll go with that. I love her art. I know. Um, I just, there's something about the way she draws the kitty faces. And then I also love the way that uh, if you've seen, I don't know if you can tell this online, but a lot of her art involves like actual, uh, like shiny metallic colors, like a shiny metallic gold color. 
and uh, it's really pretty that way. What are you doing back there, Foggy? Foggy's always putting herself in the corner and then just facing the corner. It's ridiculous. Nobody puts Foggy in the corner except Foggy. Clax. Clax, you are a destroyer. You're destroying all of us right now with that cute face. I can't take it. I can't take it. I gotta boop your nose. I gotta do it. Boop. Boop! Oh! Double boop! You wanna fight back? Come on, take me out! Boop! Alright folks, well I see we've gone 26 minutes, that's plenty of time. Uh, I mean, it's never plenty of time with these kids being so cute, but... Thank you so much for joining me for this close-up. And uh, just a reminder, you can always watch them on the regular Kitten Academy live stream. You can see some good photos on the um, on our website, which is kitten.academy. Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you, Brooke. I, how can I forget to talk about Brooke? Um, so I've announced this twice before in the past. Uh, Brooke has another approved adopter. And I hate to sound so skeptical about it, but uh, she has had two that were approved adopters before that fell through for various reasons. But I've got my fingers crossed that this third time is the charm. Uh, we'll find out. We're still waiting to get in touch with her approved adopter ourselves. Because we just heard about it today. And uh, DJ is usually the one that contacts them and we'll be contacting them hopefully tonight. Uh, if we have time, and if you are Brooks approved adopter and you're watching this, hi, whoever you are. Uh, I will find out more about you later, I'm sure. But uh, since I was wrapping it up, just remember you can watch those guys on the regular Kitten Academy live stream. I'll show you Brooke for a second. It's going to make this stream really long, though, because I have to explain. Uh, Brooke uh, scratched her eye this today, uh, her eye. Actually, I think probably she started a fight with one of the other cats and got her eye scratched. That's my guess. So that's why she's winky. Just a little winky. We're already medicating it. It's not a big deal. Kittens get their eyes scratched all the time. But that's why she's a little bit winky. But she's being so... She's just so sweet all the time. I can't believe how sweet. Just totally sweet she is. Oh, such a cutie pie. So, yeah, just a little eye scratch. It's nothing. That happens so often. But I didn't want you guys to see her being winky and being like, oh no, what's the matter? Why is she winky? That's why. She just got a little scratch. So that's also why I've got her in her room. Uh, I've got to keep an, an eye on her, no pun intended. Uh, but the vet says that if she's touching her eye and messing with it, I have to put the collar on her, the cone of shame. But uh, I'm hoping that if I keep her in here and let her just nap, that she's going to keep her paws off. And that way I won't have to put the cone of shame on her. And yes, yeah, she's gotten a ton of treats today. Oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe how many treats she's had today. <laughs> Such a sweetie bean. I know. I know. Boop. You get a boop. Everybody gets a boop. I, I don't know if I can do this so well. Uh, I can't. I can't do it with just one hand. I want. I just. I. I cuddle her like a baby all the time. Every time I see her, I like to pick her up and cuddle her on her back like a like a little baby. I just hold her, and she's the sweetest. And she puts up with it so well. And she purrs, and I rub under her chin. Uh, I can't do it unless I have both hands, though. So. Can't do it right now, but I did show it on a previous close-up where I planned ahead and brought the tripod. So maybe I can do it for you guys tomorrow. I should also mention that uh, because of her eye, uh, we have a vet appointment on Saturday. Uh, and that vet appointment uh, was at their only available time, which is 1130, which means uh, if there's a big mailbag, we may have to cut it short. 
But these days it hasn't been that big. I think we'll probably be done in time to not have to worry about it. We're still going to do it the regular time, 10 o'clock on Saturday. Um, but like I said, if there's a ton of stuff and we have to go past like 1045, I probably have to hit the road with her regardless. So, all right, now we've gone way too far. I haven't done over 30 minutes ever, so uh, we gotta we got to really call it here. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you in advance to Brooks uh, Approved Adopter. I hope that this third one is the one that, that really makes it work. Um, I'm going to miss having her around here so much, though, because she is just a sweetie. She's purring right now. I don't know if you guys can hear her over the, the sound of the air purifier. Probably not. She's got a little quiet purr, but she's just so, so sweet. Very happy cat these days. And she loves this bed. Obviously, this bed's going to have to go with her. <sighs> all right. So, again, one last time. Thank you all for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks especially to Brooke's adopter, if you're watching. And if you're not, thanks anyway. And thanks to all of you who are watching. And thanks uh, to the mods for modding. And I will see you again for another close-up tomorrow. Meanwhile, you can watch all the kittens and sometimes me on the regular Kitten Academy live stream. It happens 24 hours a day. That is that. All right. Say goodbye, Winky.